Salutations viewers and welcome to my video gaming channel. My name is Gene and today you guys are here with me for the first episode of Let's Play or should I say Let's Replay because this game was made back in 2004 and we have uh, 2020 coming to its end soon. But anyways, we're going to play Soldiers Heroes of World War II today. And guys, this is a very special uh, RTS title. Although uh, calling it a real-time tactics would be more uh, precise. Uh, Soldiers Heroes of World War II is a very special RTT because this is the first game in the Men of War series. And you could call this game to be a direct predecessor to uh, Men of War Assault Squad 2, Men of War Assault Squad 1, just uh, Men of War, and a whole bunch of other games like Faces of War, Men of War Condemned Heroes, uh, Men of War Red Tide, and so on and so on. Uh, so this game, I'm very excited to actually start this new series, uh, which will include all the uh, missions. This is going to be a playthrough of all the missions on hard difficulty setting. We are going to play all the campaigns and the single uh, uh, separate missions. Anyway guys, so just before we start, I'm gonna mention just a few things. So uh, first of all, in order to play this game properly, you need to command vehicles uh, with altered keys. Instead of using the arrow keys on the keyboard, we are going to be using the WASD keys because this way our vehicle is going to be more agile and more responsive. We want to have maximum uh, re responsiveness when it comes to playing this game because we want to have a vehicle which is mobile, which is uh, agile and which is um, just generally like speaking which can move fast and um, this way we will be capable of utilizing most when it comes to vehicles and even infantry when it comes to direct control mode. Uh, with that being said, one more thing that I want to mention is uh, since I'm playing on Windows 10 on a newer uh, system, uh, it's not fully compatible with this game because it's old and as such we won't be able to see the introduction videos and those mission uh, cutscene videos. Instead we're just gonna have a black screen but this is inevitable. Anyway, let's start doing this guys. We're going to start the Soviet campaign because this is the first campaign in the list and let's start doing this guys. Let's uh, look at that introduction and let's start. The place, the Ukraine. The date, May 1942. After weeks of bitter fighting, Russian forces of the 38th Southwestern Army managed to break through German defense lines to the north and south of the city of Kharkov. Their objective, to remove the enemy. However, they were weary and failed, and German commanders counterattacked. Two Russian detachments in the south became cut off, in grave danger, as the Germans threatened to encircle them. Their only line of communication to Soviet command lay along a narrow corridor in the vicinity of Chepel village. May 21st. An advance guard of German motorized infantry stormed into Chepel and closed the corridor. Russian intelligence then reported that Germans were using Priship railway station to unload the tanks and artillery of the 3rd Panzer Division. However, most of the German crews and reinforcement detachments were due to arrive by a separate train from Kharkov and, if mobilized, would completely encircle and entrap the two Russian detachments. Their only hope lay near the village of Chepel, where the Soviet 23rd Tank Corps had been involved in a week-long offensive, making inroads into the German line, but with no air support, they paid dearly with their own blood for every kilometer gained. The remaining troops of the 23rd Tank Corps had only a handful of operational tanks left. The final objective of securing Kharkov seemed unachievable. They should have retreated long ago, as their soldiers, fuel and ammunition were exhausted. But they knew the fate of thousands of stranded Soviet soldiers was in their hands. Okay, so we can uh, see that we have a pretty difficult task ahead of us, uh, according to the introduction. And the first level is called Chepel. This is the name of the village which we have to uh, liberate from the Nazi invaders. 
After a week of bitter fighting, it was a rare moment to rest for the men of the 23rd Tank Corps. Casualties were being attended to, and the engineers were busy patching up the tanks that should have been decommissioned weeks ago. Despite the relative calm, save for a random crack of distant gunfire, the men were unable to rest easy. The basic training they had received several months ago could not have prepared them for the horrors they had witnessed over the past few weeks. The disquiet was soon cut short, when the Begay Commissar arrived with the grave news that the Germans had finally taken Chapelle. They had spared no one, wiping out several machine-gun squads who had remained steadfast as ordered. Despite the fact that the tank major only took orders from command, which had been silent over the last day due to a communications failure, the Commissar persuaded him to lead the 23rd in a counter-raid on Chapelle. The raid was to be conducted in two stages, a small group consisting of just one tank, a handful of infantry and an APC would attack the weaker side of the village, while the remainder of the 23rd would bear the brunt of the main defensive line. Alright, so this sounds actually pretty damn difficult. We get a handful of men, a tank and an APC, and we have to liberate an entire Soviet village from an entire freaking I'm repeating myself from a big ass uh, German force so let's choose the hard difficulty and let's finally start doing this ahead is the eastern section of the village of Chapel. the defenders are currently engaged in a battle at the other side of the village it sounds like the remainder of the 23rd have started their offensive Despite having the element of surprise here, the enemy units are well trained and still pose a significant threat. Okay, comrades, so let's finally begin the assault on the German invaders for Stalin and for the motherland. So before we start, we gotta hide these guys. Because for now, for now, they aren't that useful to us. We might need them, uh... We might need them soon, if this mission is gonna go well. Because we are going to need more tank crew members. For now though, this unit guys is the most important unit. And we need to keep it alive. This tank needs to stay alive for as long as possible. Okay, let's begin killing all that infantry. Infantry in this game is a real threat, even though they are relatively easily killed. Uh, the AT... The AT grenades that they have can uh, destroy a tank easily. So we need to make sure that the infantry is all dead. Okay, let's try to get this enemy tank as close as possible to our position. We need to do this. We have no other choice. We need to get it. The closer it is to our position, the better. So guys, in this game, just so you know, the damage model when it comes to vehicle combat, uh, specifically tank combat, is very awkward. The damage model, you can unload like all your ammunition all your shells into one tank, especially if you're firing uh, into the front of the turret or even the hull, and the tank will still stay alive. Unlike the newer Man of War series, where it takes a few shots to disable a tank, here that's not the case. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna drive back because we have more infantry inbound. I don't know whether they're just going to stay there. The enemy AI is somewhat unpredictable in this game. But I really don't want to risk sending my T-34. Okay, what are these guys doing? They're just stuck here or what? Okay, I'm going to try to send my AT guy. 
Because what I noticed in this game, the AT rifle can do more damage than the actual tank cannon for some reason, but... Anyway, I'm gonna try doing that, even though it's kind of dangerous. Oh shit, I'm being fired upon already. Okay, infantry inbound. Just like I thought. Brother, what do we do now? Okay. Yeah, this could have been worse so far. It's not that bad, even. That was close. Is that guy still alive? No, he's not. Did I lose? Okay, so I already lost one of my infantry guys somehow. Mm, that sucks. We needed that soldier. Okay, but it's not... It's not like crucially bad, although this isn't good. Okay, I'm gonna need that PTRS. A man can die but once. Okay, that tank is gone. If I can restore it, I'm gonna have two tanks, technically. Although I'll be short of one man. Or one of the tanks. Okay, hopefully it's not gonna explode, because that happens sometimes, but uh... This time around, it seems alright. Okay, let's kill those AT turrets. AT guns over there. There we go. We pretty much need to take out all the enemy soldiers, one by one here. And when we're ready, we can uh, repair this tank and... Uh, ...use that as well. So we're gonna have two armored units, which is... ...pretty solid. And this, like, for this game, this is actually pretty solid. This isn't like those, um... Newer uh, Men of War games where you can have a bunch of units here. No, that's not the case In this game if you have two tanks, that's actually Pretty substantial Okay, so Bullets, fear the brave. I think I'm gonna drop this rifle for now Hopefully I'll drop it for good until the end of the mission. We don't really a man can die We don't really need this rifle at least we shouldn't need it. Guess I'm being fired upon here. More infantry inbound. That's that's not a problem. Okay, how much? Okay, I'm I'm running out of um, he ammo. Guys, get in that tank, and this guy's gonna repair it. I need a repair kit. So this side of the village is pretty much clear. Although the Germans will get more and more reinforcements, once we actually start heading into the village, they're gonna send more units against us. But we really can't do much about that. We're just gonna have to fight against them. So 
So this Panzer IV is pretty much like, uh... Pretty much just like, um... A comparable tank, uh, to the T-34. Like, stats-wise, armor and the gun and everything. So this is a formidable tank as well. I kind of didn't plan to lose this guy here. If I wouldn't lose that other infantry guy, I, I would have been quite, quite happy with the overall result. Okay, let's leave this tank, the original T-34, here and let's advance with the Panzer. Or actually, maybe I should keep this tank in the back since I have the repair kit. And this tank will advance. Okay, I need to destroy these vehicles here. Because if I recall correctly, Germans might actually use these motorcycles to drive away and I guess call for reinforcements or something. Yo, what the fuck? I just shot a fucking wooden post. Oh man, come on. I think I wrecked the statue of Stalin. Yeah, at least that's something. Alright. What are they doing? They're pushing that vehicle? We have at least one tank here, but this tank... ...shouldn't be too much of a problem for us. At least in theory. Yeah, that's a lot of infantry. That's a lot of infantry inbound. Okay, reload, reload. Okay, Panzer III, we gotta take care of it. So even the Panzer III is taking a decent amount of damage and uh, nothing is happening to it. Oh, I spoke too soon. I think, I think we got it. Okay, good. Good job. Oh, shit! I'm actually very lucky that these guys aren't using uh, AT grenades. Because if, if he would have thrown an AT grenade by now, that T-34 would have been done. I think I'm gonna start repairing this tank here, the T-34. If I recall correctly, the Germans are going to have more reinforcements after this. So far, so good though. We have like a very decent amount of dead enemy soldiers here. And I guess you could say that the village is like halfway liberated by now. Although we did wreck Stalin's statue and the Commissar isn't gonna be happy about it. He's gonna be like, Comrade, I sentence you to death. Okay, is this tank... It's, it's damaged as well, right? So, okay. There's one more Panzer IV over there. It's immobile, but it's still, uh, it's still a threat because it has that cannon that I can use. Anyway, so, let's put back the repair kit. And let's attack. Okay, 
I'm gonna try to destroy this armored vehicle first. Then this armored vehicle to the right, and then I think I'm gonna start dueling against that tank. I don't know how I missed that one, but... Apparently I missed. Track is damaged again, that's bad. Infantry is gone, which is... For the most part, my primary concern. You guys would be surprised, but if you do not keep the infantry in line, uh, they are a significant threat, like I mentioned before. This game, and this game, when it comes to fighting against tanks, uh, you're all good because, uh, like I said, the damage model is extremely awkward, but when you're fighting against infantry, it's a, it's a whole another, uh, this is a whole different question, so. Some schnapps to ease the pain. I really shouldn't be firing at infantry with AP shells, although sometimes you can get a good shot and kill infantry. With uh, what is essentially a big ass bullet. That's all it is the AP round. I'm gonna try flanking this Panzer IV shooting it at the side of the hull. At the same time, you always, guys, whenever you're playing, always make sure that your tank is faced forward. Did I disable it? No? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, nice. have more infantry running out. Okay, so we're roughly at like, I would say, at 50% of this mission. We were, we're through like 50% of the mission. Okay, now I'm gonna use one of my infantry guys, as long as I have the grenades. How much grenades do I have? I have like one. I have one frag grenade. A man can die but I'm gonna once. pick up some more and I'm gonna destroy these guns over here. So far I can't see any grenades. Is there anything on the ground? I get, was I here? Did I check this guy? Yeah, I did. My memory, I swear. Yeah, that's bad. I lost the track. But, um... In this game, you can repair a track, no problem. It could have been worse. I actually overlooked that infantry guy, didn't notice him. Again, if he would have tossed a, a hand grenade, an AT grenade, that would have been it for me. Okay, this guy just has a knife, and I'm not seeing any grenades so far. Okay, this guy has lots. Final, nice. Okay, so I guess we're going to be going on a side mission a little bit, you could call it that. We need to disable these uh, guns. So they don't actually kill our infantry, I mean our tanks, our armor. Okay, go there. Comrade, go there and repair that in the name of Stalin. Okay, we have vehicles inbound or what? 
Yeah, we do. A tank. Oh, fuck. This is what happens when you're not careful enough in this game. Drop that shit, get in the tank. Okay, this is bad. We only have one tank available now, although... Although, we have full crew for it. We have full crew. Do we have that... Uh, repair kit here somewhere? Okay, that's fine. It could have been worse. This mission is almost beaten, you could say. Almost. If I recall correctly, they have a bunch of tanks still. But uh, we can handle these. As long as we have enough ammo, I think we can handle it. Okay, meanwhile... Let's get inside the tank. Everybody in. Okay, so what do we have in terms of... MG ammo, we don't have that much. I need to get to that tank, to the Panzer IV. Because that way I will be able to resupply, essentially. Bullets, fear the brave. First we need to take care of these. AT guns. A man can die but once. Hail the revolution! Hail the revolution, comrade! Okay, let's hope that that tank won't follow us. This tank over here. Not to worry. Ah, shit. The the evening, we'll get no some schnapps schnapps go down, go down. Climb down. I'm lucky that... That AT thing didn't shoot at me yet. It could have shot, could have fired at me. Okay, toss one more. And installing okay, that's good. Killed one. AT crew. One more remains. Hopefully I'll be just as lucky, th lucky this time around. Hail the revolution! First and installing grad. Good. So we finished an objective destroy the German defensive guns. And now pretty much all we need to do is reach this Panzer IV with our Panzer IV and resupply. If we can do that, uh, we have a very good chance to uh, pretty much uh, clear the entire village of Chepel. Although we have lost a substantial amount of uh, our soldiers while uh, fighting through all these Germans. But I guess you can't do too much about that. What I kind of need the most now is uh, actual machine gun ammo. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with my tank. I have plenty of fuel, I have plenty of shells. But I just don't have enough... ...machine gun ammo. That's not a problem though, we're about to fix that in a jiffy. Okay, take all these MG rounds, bro. Put them there, okay, now we're good. Now we're gonna last for a little while longer. Load AP shells and let's do this. So what I wanna do now, I actually want to deal with this tank over here. Because it's actually exposed, the hull is exposed, and I can use this to my advantage. Where's the fire? What's wrong with the tank? I can't aim it properly.
more infantry is uh, trying to flank me. I'm not surprised. And do we have more vehicles coming? Yeah, we do. One more tank. So as you guys can see, we're facing off against a lot of tanks. So far, so good. Okay, switch to AP ammo. I'm shooting it with HE for some reason. There's one more tank coming. If it's gonna fire into the side of my hull, then uh, my Panzer IV. isn't going to be doing that hot. So I think I should deal with this Panzer III first. I'm not really in a good situation here because I have two tanks attacking me, attacking my remaining tank from different directions at the same time. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. My hull is destroyed. I gotta get out of this tank. Guys, get out, run. Run for it, guys, run for it. Run for it. Run. This is far from perfect. You don't want to see this in this mission. You don't really want to see this. But there's still hope for us. There is still hope for us, although... I will need to repair a vehicle. I will need to find and repair a vehicle. Pretty much any vehicle. I mean any tank vehicle. But this can be done. This is actually doable. All I need to do is, though, I need to hopefully get proper aim shots with this uh, PTRS of mine. Okay, pick up some ammo. We had ammo here, I believe. Five bullets. Good. That's fine. Okay. Let me show you who's boss around here. Okay, we have uh, a lot of AP bullets, AP rounds for the for the PTRS. Man, good thing this isn't that PTRD modification, which was a one shot only. Okay, I think. Wait, I can't even. I can't even uh, hide this gun because my inventory is full. Okay, I'm gonna try to go for this tank first. And then I might be able to actually disable this tank as well. Or I might actually start with this tank first, since it's lightly armored. A man can die but once. Bullets fear the brave. If I recall, the good news right now Attack! is that they will not send any more tanks against us at this current point. Hail the revolution! Uh, because I think they sent all they could. And hopefully I can get this tank. I think I need to crawl closer. Oh fuck, that's dangerous. I'm lucky I'm still alive. On this difficulty, honestly, guys? If 
anything can go wrong. Still nothing. All right, the tracks are... The tracks are damaged, but the tank is still... doing pretty well, actually. Okay, I have... I have four more bullets in this... gun of mine. I pretty much need all my guys to stay alive, if I can. Keep them alive, because... I'm kind of running out of my men. Okay, reload first. Speak of the devil. What the hell? I don't know. I kept firing at this Panzer III, but I didn't do anything against it. Okay, let's grab a, a tank guy. A tank crew member. This is just like, uh, this is just like the good old days when we were playing Mario and we had limited lives. Technically in this game you have save states, but the first mission I want to play without them. I'm just playing this in one take. Maybe I should have just climbed through all that wreckage and tossed an AT grenade instead, but uh... I guess I gotta make sure that the tank isn't... The turret isn't faced towards my guy. Ah, brother. When I'm crawling. What do we do now? Uh, but uh, with that being said, it's still not easy to... Okay, this is the guy that has the repair kit. So if I lose him, we're not gonna have a repair kit anymore. I'm just gonna hide behind this turret. Hopefully, I'm not gonna be noticed. If anything can go wrong. Okay, the tank got destroyed. Although, I was hoping that it would be a... Uh, catastrophic explosion with the with the ammo cooking off I guess that wasn't the case okay so we can start repairing our tank we can start repairing it hopefully this time I will be able to uh, finish off my enemies if I can I don't know if I'll be able to but uh, I have three guys available just three soldiers remaining The Germans still have one tank over here, they have a tank over here. And they have a bunch of infantry available still, so... Okay, I guess repairing the hull takes the longest time of all. That's fine though. The vehicle is almost repaired. Almost. Let me show you who's boss around here. Okay. Vehicle is repaired. Let's try to get in there. Let's try to evacuate the tank. So far, so good. It's too bad we don't have that soldier that we lost because that way our tank would have had. Uh, the needed amount of crew members since we're short we're short of one crew member this can affect and this will affect the performance of our tank I don't know for some reason it's not very accurate
it's all a matter of uh, pretty much clearing up the infantry now and once we uh, once we're done with that I think we'll be able to uh, flank that remaining tank and we'll be able to uh, hopefully destroy it as well It looks like a Panzer IV with a short barrel, though. One of the numerous modifications. Yeah, I think I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna go and grab some more ammo. When, with one of my remaining crew members. Grab the MG ammo. Okay, put it inside the tank. Okay, I'm being noticed now. It's fine. Okay, stop firing, stop firing. There's no need to fire. Don't be so trigger happy, bro. No, stop. Okay, so let's quickly grab all this AP shells. Although we kind of need uh, HE shells more now, to be honest. Okay, let's put this here. Take these instead. I think we have enough of AP rounds. almost almost finished okay that's good I'm not gonna need the remaining three shells I think I'll I'll be able to do well without them yeah let's uh, kill that infantry over there Fuck! how do you miss that how do you miss that Now if I can properly just flank this tank here. Okay, tracks are gone, so... I think the tank is down. Alright, we pretty much just have infantry now left. So, as long as I'm careful, I'm just gonna slowly and methodically wipe him out from the face of the earth. Yeah, that's an ordinary hand grenade. It's not gonna do much against us, so we're fine there. There's one more enemy, I think, in the church. Looks like they've run us into a trap. Oh no, he wasn't. Okay, he was here. Let's see what's inside that ammo box, even though we don't really need to. But I'm kind of curious, we have an ammo box here. Okay, we have a Mauser, and we have just a bunch of ammo. And like bandages and everything. Okay, we won't need it though.
There's one more vehicle here, if I recall correctly. This vehicle actually has a cannon. This is, if you look carefully, this is a cannon, I think. I believe a 20 millimeter cannon? So, one conclusion that I can make from playing this game is that supposedly World War II tanks weren't very accurate. Although something is telling me they were still more accurate in real life than in this game. Okay, I think I should deal with the infantry first. Just like always. <laughs> I'm still missing, still. Come on, what are you... Guys, what are you doing? Are you not tank crew members? How's this thing still alive? All right. The mission is finally completed. Although there is technically still one more German there. Not anymore. All right, guys, get out of the tank. Mission is finished. We have reinforcements coming here. We actually have more Soviet soldiers, reinforcements, driving into the village of Chepel, which is now liberated. And I could have used these guys, actually. Like, honestly, guys, during the, the mission, I could have used these reinforcements. But this isn't Metal War 2. I mean, Metal War uh, Assault Squad 2. Uh, pardon me. You don't have reinforcements in this game. This is all I had. I lost half of my guys. And the mission is completed. And this was uh, the first level of soldiers, heroes of World War II. We have liberated the village of Chepel, although with uh, heavy casualties on our side as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed this very first episode of mine of uh, Let's Play Soldiers, Heroes of World War II. I plan to uh, make uh, more episodes of it quite soon because I am planning to make a full walkthrough on the hard difficulty level and if you enjoyed this particular episode please hit a like button or a dislike button if you didn't like the way I play uh, comments and if you want to uh, support me subscribe to my channel guys I will see you soon until then take care and stay safe